Hey guys, welcome to Stippler.com, a Photoshop add-on for creating vector shapes from everyday photos. Today we're going to show you how to turn color photos into graphic novel line art. Let's start by opening the Stippler panel. The most prominent feature of any graphic novel is the line work. Stippler has well over a hundred different types of line work styles, but we're going to focus on the style that most closely matches that found in graphic novels. To do this, we're going to filter our actions by stroke. And now we'll just go to the bottom of our list and select Anchor 1. And before we run the action, we're going to select Snug. And this is a new document, so our photo layer is already selected. Always make sure that your photo layer is selected before running the action. So let's do that now. Stippler is now executing a series of pre-recorded Photoshop actions, applying it to a copy of the selected photo, and will give us a vector shape layer when complete. So here is our vector shape layer. The original photo was left untouched. If we toggle it off, we can see that our vector shape layer is transparent. We can double click on the smart object layer, zoom in, and we see that it is indeed transparent. So we can zoom out and have a look at our vector data, selecting the pen tool. We can select content that we don't want anymore. We could delete it. We could optionally uh, manipulate the data that we want. But for now, we're just going to leave it as is. And we're going to work with what we have. And we're going to build it up. So right now we have one layer. We're going to build three more layers. This is going to help us increase the thickness of the line work. And that's because the actions, when they're run over and over repeatedly on the same photo, will generally create the same result but with minor differences. So let's return to our background layer. We need to toggle it on and we'll run Find Snug again. Now we have two inker results, and it's potentially not obvious what has changed. But if you toggle the second result on and off, we can see that more detail was added to the image. So let's uh, turn off the background photo and have another look. And we'll run it again. Let's take a look. You can see that even more detail has been added very subtle. 
but we'll give it one last pass. And again, we can see that detail was added to our image. Let's have a closer look. At building up the line work. So now we can see that the line work did get thicker. And so now we're finished with these lines. The next step is to add some depth to the image. What we have right now is a graphic artwork result, but it's a very 2D result. It has um, no depth. It's just black and transparency. You could stop the process here, add a white background, and be done with your result. But we're going to go one step further, and we're going to add some depth. To begin the process, we first need to re-enable our background layer and select it. Next, we'll go to the grayscale category and locate grayscale 1 at the bottom of the list. And we'll click four shades. And here's the result. Let's just take a look inside the Grayscale 1 Smart Object layer. And we can see that we have four vector shape layers that have varying intensities of fill. And when they're layered together, give us some depth. So we'll just close this document. And that's it. I hope you liked this short tutorial on converting a color photo into a graphic novel line art. Don't forget, you can go to stippler.com and download the 14-day free trial and give it a shot yourself.